What's up guys? Thanks for checking out the channel, watching the video. Today we're doing a chicken. We're gonna do this as a rotisserie style chicken, but we're gonna do it in the slow cooker or the crock pot. Takes about three and a half hours and I really like the results better than rotisserie chicken. Um, it's not gonna give you the crunchy skin like the rotisserie chicken, but it's not as dried out and processed to me. Um, but the chicken itself is amazing. Um, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Here comes the recipe for a rotisserie style chicken in a slow cooker. We're going to start out with about a seven pound chicken. This is a little under seven pounds. We put it in the, in the, the sink, rinsed it off, cleaned out the insides. Make sure you get these little spots right under this area. We are going to chop off the tail. And if you didn't know it, this is also called the Parsons nose. Um, Martha would say save it for stock, but we're not doing that. So, we're throw it away. so you want to tuck the wings. So what we do is just flip it like that. Just like that. Okay. Now we want to dry that really well. Now we're gonna put our spice mixture on this. All right, into, the, into a bowl, we're gonna put some lemon pepper. We're gonna throw out some garlic, garlic powder, just like that. Love me some paprika, so we're gonna throw that in there. We got that black pepper from that. What else, Mike, what else do I need to put in here? Lemon pepper, garlic, parsley. Yeah, we can throw some parsley in there. Onion powder. I'm gonna taste it. Okay, I can't find the parsley, so there it is. Okay. All right, so throw in some parsley. We're gonna toss in a little brown sugar. So this is going to be our rub for the outside and the inside actually. So, so now we have melted a little bit of butter, it's about a half a stick of butter. We're going to use a syringe or an injector with the fine needle. I actually ordered this from Amazon and when it came, this needle did not have an opening right here. So I had to return it and they sent me another one. It uh, was completely sealed, so it was useless. I have these big needles, but that's not gonna work for chicken. So this syringe fits on like that. It did say to wet it first. A little bit of water in there. And close that up. Okay, we just draw melted butter up into the syringe. Did it do it? Nope. Now it's drawn. So into the chicken on the meaty parts, we're gonna stick this butter injector and pull out slowly, just like that. into the thighs, oops. Uh -huh. Suck up some more butter. And put it right in the wing, right in the legs. And just slowly push the syringe and pull out. Way. 
this way. Anywhere there's meat, we're gonna put a little butter in there. Let's put it on the inside. I'm gonna squirt butter on the inside. All right. We're gonna take the leftover butter, rub the outside of it. And we're gonna take our, our seasoning mix. We're gonna put that on the outside. Rub it in. We, uh, Mike and I bought a new pellet grill, which we really like, but we are taking a week off of the pellet grill. We have, this is the third weekend we've grilled stuff and we're taking a week off. But if you don't have a pellet grill, it's worth the money. It's worth the investment. All right, a little on the inside. All right, so let's just rub it really good. Just like that, make sure our wings are tucked. Like that. All right, so this is going to go into the crock pot. All right, so we have a crock pot. We're going to use a trivet to put in the bottom. You can use rolled up foil or anything like that, but this actually came from the Instant Pot. And if you do not use crock pot liners, you need to invest in that. That is a lifesaver. You cannot stand to have to clean a uh, slow cooker. And that makes cleaning so easy. So you're gonna take your chicken, just drop it in there just like that. Um, I am going to throw the liver and the gizzards in there for the dogs, just like that. So we're going to crank this thing on high, cover it, and let it cook for two and a half, three, or three hours until it comes out done, until the temperature reads um, like 165. Make sure you cover it. And with this crock pot, it has like little clips, which we like. All right, so we'll check on you about two and a half hours, Mr. Chicken. All right, guys, sorry the bread maker is going, if you can hear that, but it's been three hours. We're going to open this up, check for temp. This is a slow thermometer. A little under 165, which will be fine. Yeah, this will be done. We're going to check over on the legs, too, in these thick part of the thighs. All right, it is at temp. We're going to set this on low. We're going to keep it warm until dinner. Now, as you see, the top is not that beautiful. If you want to take that out, and brown the skin, you're more than welcome to. We're actually gonna take the skin off and eat it more of just like chicken, chicken on a salad. So that's why we're gonna do this anyway. So we're gonna leave that on warm, put the lid back on it and cut it up shortly. All right. So it has cooled, we're gonna lift that up. And did it stick? Nope. Let that drain a little bit. And we will take it to the cutting board. All right, let's lift it off this. Go ahead and cut the pieces. Now I'm not. I'm opting to not put it in the broiler. Look how mm, tender and juicy. Okay, it does it does tear apart like a rotisserie chicken for sure. I'm gonna flip it. That wing fell apart, which is a good sign. 
still a little bit warm, y'all. It's actually warm a little bit. Wow, that is so moist. Look at that. Very, very moist. All right. We're going to cut a little piece off. Let's do a, little, let's do a chicken wing. How about that? We're going to taste this and see how this compares to a rotisserie chicken. Now oh, look how it falls apart. That's crazy. Wow. That's actually better than a rotisserie chicken because you can control the spices and stuff. That is really good. Definitely going to do that again. All right, guys, rotisserie chicken in a slow cooker. It is possible. It is delicious. So if you get a chance to make it, give it a try. Um, if you do try it, put your comments down below. I'd love to hear any other comments you have. My name is Tom. This is Tasting Around. Don't forget to hit subscribe. You guys have a great week. Be safe out there, and we'll see you next week.